Hello everyone this is Dr Garima Sachdeva and today we'll be discussing about the management of von Willebrand disease during pregnancy and the guideline that I'll be covering today would be management of inherited bleeding disorders in pregnancy which is green top guideline number 71 then uh, about the last topic von willebrand disease so there are three types of von willebrand disease type 1 type 2 and type 3 so type 1 is uh, autosomal dominant and autosomal dominant one is the one which is uh, less severe so it is partial quantitative where the factor activity is less than 0.3 then uh, type 2 is autosomal recessive uh, autosomal dominant uh, it is qualitative and it is divided into 2a 2b 2m 2n 2a is severe loss in uh, von willebrand factor 2b is uh, increase binding to gp1 okay just remember that a more severe is type 3 which is autosomal recessive uh, type 1 is least severe okay which is autosomal dominant type 2 can be both autosomal dominant and recessive based on what it is quantitative and quantitative qualitative is where the level factor levels are okay but the it is not functioning properly because it requires certain proteins to function von willebrand factors it required this gp glycoprotein platelet glycoprotein 1b and 2a to function so if there are defective uh, the factor concentration is normal but these proteins are defective so then it will be qualitative quantitative is if the value of the factor itself is less okay 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 then uh, you should remember type 3 which is autosomal recessive is the most severe type 1 is least severe it is autosomal dominant type 2 is in between and it can be both autosomal dominant or recessive okay okay so patients with bleeding history and von willebrand factor activity of 0.3 to 0.5 should be regarded as low von willebrand factor or rather than von willebrand disease so to classify as von willebrand disease the level should be less than 0.3 if it is between 0.3 to 0.5 it is called as low von willebrand factor okay 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 then how do you manage so again uh, antenatal you it should be under multidisciplinary team with hematologist a uh, uh, involvement then you have to check the von willebrand factor levels and also factor 8 levels should be checked at booking in third trimester and prior to any invasive procedure aim should be here also you have to maintain the level above 0.5 okay and if it drops okay. on to that what do you give same like uh, hemophilia you give desmopressin and uh, <clears throat> once you giving desmopressin what instruction will you give we have a fluid retention fluid restriction yes up to fluid restriction 1 liter per day yes and uh, you have to concentrate uh, you can give concentrates of factor 8 and von willebrand factor also if desmopressin is not working and your target till when till when will you replace till the level so this is same okay so how will you treat von willebrand uh, if the uh, if the factor when will you treat what should be the uh, target for initiating 10 minutes point five ha if it is less, what will you give we give same uh, desmopressin or uh, uh, recombinant factor 8 factor 8 or von willebrand factor or antranexamic acid will go here as well until when will you replace until it reaches one yes then during the delivery the timing of the treatment should be as near to the delivery as possible pre and post treatment levels of von willebrand factor activity and factor 8 levels should be measured and repeated after delivery or if the labor is prolonged tranexamic acid should be given if the factor level is less than 0.5 platelet transfusion as well as von willebrand factor may be required in severe forms for for 
<coughs> fetuses at risk of having type 2 or type 3 so these are the severe ones you uh, avoid all these things uh, fetal blood sampling external cephalic version fetal scalp electrode monitoring man to delivery or mid cavity forceps because then again it there is risk of bleeding okay and once the baby is delivered you will have to uh, do a cranial ultrasound to see if there is any intracranial hemorrhage if required you uh, do an mri also okay so this is same so this Almost was same yeah so this was about uh, inherited bleeding disorder and hemoglobinopathy any doubts